Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Today I got a pretty dope iOS setup that I'll be walking you through today. You'll need to download two apps. The first one is called Widgie Widget. This will be for our main widget theme. And the other is Clear Spaces, which will allow us to add an invisible widget to the home screen. Also to get a head start on the wallpaper and widget, both of those links are in the description. Let's start. For the wallpaper, I'm using a wallpaper from my Flow wallpaper pack. I've already saved it in my photos and I'm going to hit the share icon and select use as wallpaper. For the lock screen, I just wanna change the font a little bit. I am running iOS 17. So the next part you won't be able to do unless you're currently also running the iOS 17 beta. I'll tap on the font and I'm gonna change it to white. Then I'll slide it so the clock is very thin. I think this theme looks really cool. And I'm also going to select the date and add the weather widget. Then tap add. And then we wanna also customize our home screen. And all we want to do is unblur so it shows the wallpaper and takes away the blur effect. Next up, I'm gonna go to the clear spaces widget. So I'll long press my home screen select the plus icon, and then go to the clear spaces widget and select the medium widget size. Before we go into the clear spaces app, slide to the right so you have no apps on your screen and take a screenshot. Now open the clear spaces app and create a new clear spaces style by tapping on the screen. Tap on where it says no image set under light mode and select your screenshot. If we go back to the lock screen and select edit widget, I can change the position if I want to move it to the bottom or the middle. And if I tap the information options, I can add other items to the clear widget as well. So we are using this to hide other widgets and I think it just makes the phone look a lot cleaner and the space just looks more minimal. I'm going to add a few other widgets. So I'll add music and books, podcasts, and finally, the last one I'll add is the Bible app. These are apps that I use a lot. And with iOS 17 introducing interactive widgets, these are just really handy to have right on your home screen. I'm going to long press the widget stack and turn off smart rotate and widget suggestion. Next up, we are going to long press again, tap add. Then we're looking for widget widget. I have a ton of widgets already in my setup. So I'm gonna to have to slide over to the right quite a bit. You won't have to probably do this too much. And I'm looking for the next opening slot for a large widget. Next, I'm gonna to go to my files and look for the downloaded widget pack that I bought. But once I have that and I open it, it should open up right into Widgie Widget. So you won't have to worry about having a QR code or anything since it's a paid widget. Now, when we open mine up, you'll notice it's slightly different because I didn't think it was necessary to have apps one, like I don't even have Facebook and I didn't want Twitter and YouTube on my home screen for this setup. You can actually keep it as is so you can keep it right as the creator intended or you can edit it just to the way I did it. So first we'll tap on edit and we're going to update the Facebook one and the rest of them. I'm not going to go into each one. You can just do on your own. You'll go to where it says folder big size and select Facebook. You'll tap on the arrow and select the image. Go to the little photo icon and select app icon and search for notes and then select the image that looks like Apple notes. You'll then select the three dots by where it says Facebook. And if you're like me, you like everything perfect, just rename it to notes and you can repeat the steps if you'd like on the other apps. We'll hit the arrow now at the top left and confirm. And then we're going to go to manage. Scroll down to the large widget spot and select the widget you want to add to that spot. Tap on where it says add wallpaper and add the screenshot that we took a little bit ago. You'll then select the check mark at the top right and we want it to be at the bottom half of the home screen and then select the check mark. Now go to your home screen and it's there. We're not quite done yet though. There is one last thing we have to do and a few of the apps on this widget pack don't actually have a touch option to open up that app. So if I touch on Apple TV, for example, it's not going to open up Apple TV. It's just gonna open up the Widgie Widget app. What we have to do is we have to go back into Widgie and go to the Create tab. Select your widget and tap Edit. Hit the arrow where it says TV 
and then select the plus icon. We are going to add a new layer of tap action and you're gonna tap on that little hand icon and where it says external action, select the minus icon so it'll say open URL. Tap on that and then select Apple's apps. You'll scroll down to where it says Apple TV or TV and just make sure that tap action is over the TV app. And then select the back arrow, confirm, and repeat those steps for any other apps that you wanna open up correctly. It's kind of annoying, but that's it. I think it's a super dope setup. It might be my best one yet. I'm not sure you guys let me know in the comments. There's still a lot of hoops that we have to go through to customize iOS, but it's definitely possible and I think it's a good setup. If you like this kind of video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. As always guys, thanks for watching, God bless, and I'll see you on the next video.